I've laid all the materials on but you can see the adhered area that I showed you in the last still shot and the spiral emerging. Now what I envisaged was originally was to come come around like this I'm trying to stand back and then it would have to come it would be a bit unnatural when it came back in again to keep it contained within the um, diameter of the substrate so that's spiral coming out widening naturally and then tucking it back in again and then finding an end point and still um, doing what I suggested before once the glass is on here take some of these that's very convenient that that ends there um, take some of these little shells out into the into that ocean come globe um, now the other thing I could do but I think it's something we need to look at later on once I've progressed with this a little bit more is um, tighten this up and make it a circle within a circle if you don't like the idea of the um, the offset spiral so it, you know it comes around naturally widens but then it's tucked back in again again to leave some border or the other thing I thought of <clears throat> and I quite like it but then I would was to actually let the spiral follow a natural line so it comes out and then it widens and then maybe just kind of just slopes off over the edge that that would be quite funky and quite sculptural but we could look at that later on what I want to do next is complete this stone area here so we've got USA, um, New Zealand, that's that's a lot of collection there, and um, Australia, not so much there, and then these sort of borders that are bolted out, but I've given them some texture with slate and sea glass. And then uh, that can all be cleaned up, and we can look at it again, so if you want it smoother, if you want pieces taken out or bits added on, we can look at that later on. So don't be too concerned about how this looks at the moment, it's, it's ridgy and it's dirty. Um, the biggest problem I'm going to have in terms of getting material on here is shell and the, um, I keep wanting to say fossil, it's not, it's um, coral, um, because that's porous so over time that will reject, particularly if it's only just stuck on the surface, that will um, repel any adhesive that's in my experience I know the Victorians did shell follies but um, they do fall off over time and um, it was a little bit different there was a nice suction going on filled with concrete against the wall I don't want to do that I want a little bit of overlap a bit of something sculptural here and then and then the aim end aim is to continue finally weave in these ribs of um, uh, with um, ribs of slate so there's there's a you know it unifies there's a flow I will have to put the shell on a different panel I think first of all <coughs> a plastic mosaic mesh stitch some, stitch some on arrange them how I want and um, and then offer it back to this surface so in actual fact these will be stitched um, to the mesh and the mesh will glue against here and it will be quite durable so this is the biggest poser so I'm going to worry about that a bit later on after I finish this and clean that up um, I'm rushing through this because there was so much I wanted to say. I think I've talked about the spiral edge, so I think that's it for now. Just let me know. What offering a few bits of glass up to it just to um, you know not exclude any other ideas in in the final piece but we can look at that again once this is um, finished and cleaned up um, I was drawing out a few lines casually to see what a circle might look like if it was brought back round in a circle uh, it's too early to tell I think or if it came out you know a proper nautilus shape